Did you know that the average person breathes about 20,000 liters of air a day? That's like 10,000 of these soda bottles. Unfortunately, some of that air isn't so fresh and clean. And depending on the day, you may actually be able to feel the effects of dirty air. Now don't get me wrong, your body and lungs are extremely tough. They're designed to filter out the bad stuff, but a little protection and help for your lungs and the environment can't hurt. In fact, the federal government has set pollution standards for that very purpose. And that's where the Utah Division of Air Quality comes in. The DAQ tracks pollution levels all across the state to regulate these standards, but it wouldn't do any good if we kept this information to ourselves, now would it? Our findings and all the tools and resources to help you know what's going on in the air around you are available through airquality.utah.gov. Armed with this info, you can take action to protect yourself. The first thing you'll notice on the website is a three-day forecast. It's an air quality forecast for eight Utah counties that have pollution problems. Click on your county to learn more about the air you're breathing. How does the forecast work? Well, I'll tell you. It shows you what you can expect today and over the next few days, just like a weather forecast. But instead of 72 degrees and sunny, it's all about air quality. Depending on the concentration of pollutants in the air and the anticipated levels over time, each day will be labeled green, yellow, or red. Now these yellow and red colors are simply a call to action to reduce pollution. You can mouse over the area above the color bars to see an associated health advisory. For instance, there may be one to encourage you, if you're sensitive to pollution, to consider limiting your outdoor exertion. For a more detailed view, click on Current Conditions. Here you'll find a thermometer that shows the current pollution level. There are two kinds of pollutants that are featured here. During the summer months from May to September, the thermometer indicates ozone levels. Ozone is the main ingredient of smog and is particularly troublesome during hot sunny days. More bad news for sunbathers. For the rest of the year, from October to April, the thermometer measures a pollutant that can become a big problem during Utah's winter inversions. It's called particulate matter, or PM2.5. PM2.5 aggravates health conditions like asthma and heart disease. Basically, when the thermometer exceeds 75 for ozone or 35 for PM2.5, red action alert days go into effect, calling for no wood burning or reduced driving. Pollutant levels as well as the temperature, wind speed, and wind direction data are on this page. They're updated every hour, so we're talking real-time stuff here. So check back anytime and plan your day accordingly. Well, that should help you get started. Now, you can monitor pollution levels in your area and see the forecast to know what you can do to improve air quality and keep yourself healthy if you're sensitive to bad air days. There's a lot more we haven't covered here, so feel free to explore other links and videos on the site. You and your lungs will be glad you did.